on episode 7. So, uh, this is going to be a pretty big kind of thing that I'm going to be doing, where I'm basically dismantling my entire factory today. I'm not sure how long they'll take. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I got this cool item called a jetpack. It costs a little bit to get, but uh, the main problem is that I need fuel, and I don't exactly have fuel manufacturing at the moment, so I only have, like, whatever I've got left in here. Main thing with a jetpack is that I can kind of hover around, so I can just hover for a little bit. I can't hover for too long. You can see in the bottom left that it eventually runs out, and then I fall. But combining the Blade Runners with the hover pack thing is going to be really fun to get around. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to completely dismantle my entire factory and just start from scratch again. Because uh, everything's getting pretty claustrophobic. It's kind of hard to actually get around and do stuff. I am not very happy with my rotors factory as well. Or just in general, there's a bunch of different factories within here that I just want to completely remake. So main goal with the remodeling is that I want to make these adaptive control units. And well, to make that I need a bunch of complicated materials. The main thing that's going to be an issue is the heavy modular frames and computers, as there's no way that I have that automated yet. Circuit boards and automated wiring won't take too long, although automated wiring apparently takes a ton of cables. I did some calculations. Oh, speaking of calculations. I might have done a few calculations in order to figure out what I need for everything. So according to my calculations, I need over 1,300 copper and 1,500 iron along with 750 coal coming in. Now you might be thinking, over 1,000 copper and iron? That's like a lot. Why do you need so much? Well, the plan is to get 5 adaptive control units a minute. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but since the base recipe only produces one a minute and it requires a ton of resources, uh, five's gonna be a little difficult. And using some handy dandy math of multiplication, we can figure out exactly how many resources we need. In this episode, I'll be prioritizing heavy modular frames, or I'm just gonna call them heavy frames. Actually, uh, adaptive control units. You know what that looks like? Those look like AC units. We got air conditioners. We're making air conditioners today. Or at some point. I don't know when I'll actually be making air conditioners. I'll go into detail on the other recipes in the next episode, but for heavy frames, we need 30 modular flames a minute. Flames. <laughs> 30 modular frames, 90 steel pipes, 30 encased industrial beams, and 600 screws, totaling in 6 heavy frames a minute. Anyways, to get 30 modular frames a minute, I need reinforced plates, 45 a minute to be exact, as well as 180 rods. The reinforced plates need about 270 iron plates and 540 screws, and then the iron plates need about 420 iron ingots, and as for the screws, I'm going to need about 140 rods, which is another 150 iron ingots. I'm also going to need another 600 screws just to create the heavy frame in general, which is going to need another 150 rods a minute, which is another 150 ingots, which is another 10 constructors. Things are getting a bit crazy, aren't they? And those are just the requirements for just the heavy frames, and this is already getting a bit complicated. I've got three other big resources that I gotta somehow fit into my factory. But like I said, today's focus is just going to be on the heavy frames, and I'll get to the rest of the stuff in the next episode. For now, I gotta start dismantling my factory. Uh, but before I get into that, I kind of want to just walk around this factory a little bit, just to kind of show the progress of it. I want to try something out, where I'm going to try and color code everything, like having the recycler having a green tint to it. Although, I'm not too sure about this green, because it's a bit standout. But main thing, if I can use my hover pack to get up, oh, I can actually move around my facility. So cool. So a slight example of color coding is that I can actually color the conveyor belts that these things go on, and potentially I could tell myself, hey, anything that has a green conveyor belt on it is going to the recycler. Also, I'm not entirely sure if I want to get rid of my uh, refined plates facility, because this is honestly one of my favorite areas. I mean, this section alone has been a thumbnail and is also on my channel banner. I love how this looks. It looks amazing. So I'm thinking about this, I might just keep this, or I don't know, I want to, might want to remake it too. Uh, but then there's some of my more simple factories, like just an iron plate and iron rod factory area. That's pretty much been backed up ever since I like got this far, because I had no use for it. 
Concrete as well isn't really going anywhere. And my goodness, I really do need to rework my copper and caterium factory area. Because it is one hell of a mess up here. And while I'm at it, I can also expand my quartz factories. Because now that I actually need circuit boards, I'm going to need silica for it. As quick reminder, I got an alternate recipe for circuit boards that allows me to make them without the use of plastics, which I do not have. And while I'm at it, I can also upgrade my steel manufacturing because it's a little lacking. It's kind of limited. I mean, there's a lot of parts of my factory that I really like. It's just that with how things are going, I think I want to do some remodeling. I mean, there's definitely a lot of things I like with this factory, it's just I think I need to do a lot of remodeling to get stuff, uh, satisfactory. <laughs> and it's about night time now, so I can also show another problem that I want to fix, and that's getting lighting. Because normally I can put lights on there and try to hook them up to some kind of connection point to get them powered. Main problem is with how messy and unorganized everything is. Sure, I can like light up this area, but it only lights up a square, and I need to... Ugh, gosh. Basically, on top of everything I want to do, I want to get lighting integrated into the system, just so it's not dark all the time. Because, I mean, I want to look at my factory in all of its glory, but it's kind of hard to see when there's, like, no light. I think probably the only thing I'll leave standing is the generator. <laughs> I am I'm stalling too much, I just gotta start this. I'm trying to put in an on-site storage area where I can store everything. And then figure out if I want to delete it or what. <sighs> I gotta start somewhere. I gotta start just deleting stuff. Not sure how long this will take me, but uh... Oh man, this will be interesting to see a an area without anything. This is by far the weirdest thing to see, just like gaping holes in my factory. I'm hoping with what changes I'm actually gonna do, it will be for the better and permanent. As in after all of this, I, uh, I doubt I'll rework everything again. <laughs> Everything gets deleted. Everything I worked so hard for. <laughs> Thinking for the time being, I'm still gonna leave like the this gigantic ramp here, mostly because it's it's proven pretty useful by by far. But uh, for the moment, there's not really much of a use for it because there's no generators for it to power right now. Also gonna leave the space elevator because I kind of liked it in the center of everything. And I feel like I've been just deleting stuff for a really long time. I mean, there's a lot to delete, so that's kind of fair, but like, jeez. Yeah, just a random funny things just floating. It makes no sense. <laughs> well, ain't this a before and after image? <laughs> so, yeah, uh... That's the uh, old factory deleted. Wow. Well, not the entire old factory. There's still the refined plates things going on right now. Oh, man, there's a lot that I want to do, isn't there? Yeah, of course there is. Uh, let's see. First thing I want to do is get a bunch of generators hooked up. I'm going to move the snowman. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't move the snowman because there's no way for me to place it anymore. No! Well, time to get recycled, snowman. See you next fix, miss. 17 coal generators, each requiring 45 water, so I need 765 water per minute. Slight issue, a Mark I pipeline can only carry 300 units of water per minute, so I'm gonna have to upgrade to Mark II pipelines, which require plastics. Now normally I'd be like, oh no, I don't have any plastics, what will I do? However, I thought ahead. I got a bunch of plastics. And I'll also need Mark II pumps in order to get that to work, which I have a bunch of motors lying around as well as industrial beams, so I should be fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade all of these. You know, I never thought about this, but making the, the whole catwalk ramp thing that I did, it made it very easy to just upgrade everything. 
And then pipe it here. Get that one piped down there. Get that one piped over there. I guess I'll upgrade this pipeline as well. Next fun activity is getting all the coal in. And how much coal do they need? 15 per minute. There's 17 of them and they need 15, so I need 255 per minute. Splitter, 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 split. I think I already did this joke before. See, so yeah, according to math, I should be able to uh, get enough coal in all of my stuff. All right, coal's getting sent off and distributed. Eventually, it'll get to everywhere. If we look at our graph, it's a little wacky at the moment. That's just because everything's trying to turn on, and what's up with you? Needs stuff. Everything's just trying to turn on. Eventually, everything will get power. I'm sure of it. Well, while that's warming up, let's uh, make something with the blueprint designer. I want to make a 4x4 platform area that has ceiling lighting. Crouching. Why is it overlapping? What do you mean? Okay, it's gotta be right there. Got it. <laughs> I forget how picky the blueprint designer is when it comes to, like, uh, what is in within its boundaries. I mean, completely fair with what it provides, but still. Alright, so how does that... I kind of figured it would look weird. Let's see. As long as I can get it up there, it should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna start over in a corner. Zoop up a platform thing and put down a ceiling. Can't afford... what don't I have? I don't have concrete. I didn't think about how I'm gonna get back up there. Well, nothing a trusty ladder can't fix. There? Mm, that kind of that kind of works out, I think. I wonder, can I add in catwalks at all? Okay, okay. <laughs> I I thought up of something. So we got this cool looking design or whatever. But look at this, I got. I got this cool catwalk design here. It's so... Oh, I love it. Oh, gosh. What's even better is that it seamlessly connects and there's no Z fighting whatsoever. <laughs> Wait, uh-oh. <laughs> you just you get a hole and now just in there, but now I, I can't fix that. Uh-oh. Maybe I can plug it up like that. You know, uh, this is going to be something completely forgotten. No one will ever notice this. Ever. Ever, ever. Okay, before going any further, I need to actually test if this works. So I need to find a power line. Alright, plug that in. Plug these two in. Yeah, the lights do work. Jeez, that looks terrifyingly bright down there. I'm not entirely sure where to connect everything, so I'm just plugging in stuff wherever for the moment. Let's see, maybe... Plug it over here... To there, and then plug it in. Yeah! This is gonna look so cool when I get it all in. I remember when I was making the uh, giant water ramp. And I was like, man, I'm going to save so much time doing a bunch of work. And, well... Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to place the second one. No. Do you think that is one issue where if you accidentally place one? Well, uh, too bad you accidentally placed one. Haha, -ha, funny. As I was saying, uh, making that ramp over there going to save so much time doing stuff. And here I am making giant ceiling layouts with, uh, with the Blueprint Designer. Unfortunately, I can't put them too close to the space elevator, so I need to figure something out. Let's see, how does this look? Oh. Huh. Oh, whoa, that's, that's weird looking. I'll definitely need to toy around with this, but I need to get all this lighting hooked up. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh gosh. I don't know if this was a good idea. My frames just dropped. I just wanted to see my factory in the nighttime. That's all I wanted. 
Well, I got what I wanted. I got the ability to light up my area, but also my computer is chugging. At least I got something kind of cool on the ceiling. That's something. I don't think I can actually use this then. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you know, as cool as this looks, I, I don't think I can have it on for that long because, uh... Yeah. Wait, how do I turn it off? Okay, okay, thank goodness. So, a uh, cool ceiling also causes an immense amount of lag. I seem to create that sometimes. Uh, I'm thinking back to, like, my door move in my Minecraft series where I just made this gigantic door. I was like, yo, I'm gonna have this really big door, and it's gonna look so cool, you won't believe it. And then it does look so cool, but it also is extremely laggy. Okay, well, time for the moment of the truth. Nighttime. Let's see how effective my new lighting setup actually is. I'm just gonna have it at like 40% ish. Click. Hmm. Well, it does make everything bright. <laughs> okay, but what about like at 100%? What does that look? As expected. Actually, I wonder. <laughs> My whole base is now irradiated. Oh no. I got a few other presets. I got blue. Makes everything a deep blue. It does look kind of nice, actually. I kind of wonder what this looks like from up here. Oh gosh. It's just a blue aura. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Was this worth the investment? I mean, that's quite a spectacle. But, oh gosh, the frames. What about orange? I think we're next to the sun now. Uh, pink. Everything is now pink. Yep, everything's pink now. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, I think the lighting is what I want. It's just that it's too much of it and it's causing lag, which I think is hilarious. Let's see, I'm gonna try something. Without my lighting setup, I can just cut a cable and uh, that lighting just doesn't work anymore. So I wonder if I cut every other light, would it reduce the amount of lag? I do kind of find it funny how modular I end up accidentally making my stuff. You know what, that actually looks pretty bright, all things considered. I don't have all of them on, and... Hmm. Okay, it's not as laggy, but it does kind of reduce my frames a little bit, so... Eh. Okay, so I went into the settings, and it turns out my lighting was on ultra, which basically means, oh, I'm going to do a lot of computing power to make there be a lot of light. Which I guess there was a lot of light, so I turned down the lighting quality from ultra to high, and it seems to be that it has fixed my frame rate issue. Probably doesn't mean too much, but now I can actually see my base in the dark, and I don't lose out on frame rates. That is actually pretty good. Well, uh, all of that lighting is pretty good and all, but I gotta actually start doing stuff that I want to do in the episode, which is making... Aut automated control- yeah, automated control units, good. Okay, at least I remember that. So, first step for automated control units is to get some heavy modular frames of which I currently have no automation for, so need to fix that. In order to automate, I require a floor. And now I have a clean slate floor type thing of a bobber. Alright, so heavy modular frames. I need a manufacturer to make them. And I unfortunately can't make any more because I also need heavy modular frames to make them. I need to figure out ways to just make acurums. Ac acurums? No. Acu shortened versions of a word. Heavy frames? Maybe. H frames? No, that's too... Okay, I'm thinking too much into this. Anyways, I am getting so distracted. My goodness, I just need to make this thing. Okay, uh, basics. I need 720 iron per minute normally and another 630 just for the steel. So, mathing that out... Six, Da, da, da. I need 1,350 iron ore, of which I need to figure out what I have access to right now and what's not being used. 
Okay, sometime later I got my stuff set up for what I want to do. And it's to use walls. Oh, but Dean, walls aren't that interesting. Well, maybe they are if I can show you how conveyor belts work here. So, in Satisfactory, you can use walls. They, you, but they're walls. What else would they be, honestly? So, to kind of clean up everything, I'm thinking on using the conveyor belt walls, which... If I click over there, drag you over there, boom. And now, it has a clean way to get into the factory. Okay, after a bit of tedious calculations, let's see, so 300, 480, 340, 780, plus 450, plus 480, and I have over the amount I need. That's good. Very good. Now let's see how does... <laughs> that looks kind of bad, doesn't it? I will fix it later. <laughs> I think at some point, instead of completely reworking how my entire factory is laid out, I'm going to rework how I get everything in it. And uh, that will be figured up at some point. Now don't that look neat? Okay, I got the iron up here. Now. <sighs> time, to, time to do some more work. Each smelter can take 30 per minute. So 720 is required, 30 each, so I need 24 smelters. Well, no other way to start than to just put down some smelters. And nothing's going to be powered quite yet. I'm going to have to make sure I get thing hooked up first. Okay, so uh, 480, 480 divided by 30, 16. So let's see, if I combine the 480 plus 300, that would mean I have 780, which means I have 60 iron per minute over. Okay, that's fine. Now I just gotta split everything. And then over here at the very end, we have a, we have a 60 per minute excess coming out of there. And geez, I need to get like fuel up and running again so I can use my jetpack because I'm out of fuel. Sad. But what isn't sad is that all the smelters now have their appropriate amount of iron coming in, so that's nice. Okay, the most complicated thing that I'm going to need is modular frames to make the heavy modular frames. However, the main problem is that I need a bazillion screws. 540 screws a minute. Okay, let's let's keep it simple. 540 screws a minute. So as a constructor, normally creates 40 a minute, so 540 per minute. Uh, 13 and a half constructors. That's aggravating. Actually, I forgot a step. I actually need iron rods first, and to get those I need 15 a minute. Actually, I'm going to try something out. I'm going to have a long line. 3, 4... Not sure how well this is going to work out, but uh, it's a learning experience. And only a splitter for this. Okay, so a bit of time later. Now I got 37 constructors. Actually, what was the 37? I was 555 rods a minute. Might be a little different than what it was before, but I basically just re-looked at my numbers and realized that I was off by about 180 iron a minute. Not too big of a deal, I have some extra, that's not too bad. However, I ran some calculations. With the recalculations, I need 1,725 raw iron per minute. I have two 480s coming in, one 450 and one 300, which means I need exactly 15 more. And because 15 is going to be hard to keep track of, I just had it on its own little separate smelter, being smelting 15, even on its own separate miner that's below this whole facility. <laughs> and then I have that one conveyor belt line get joined in with this one, which joins all the way over at the end for probably this one constructor. That <laughs> got a smelter way the heck over there, and the constructor's way the heck over here. <laughs> so something I wanted to try out power switch. So how a power switch works, you connect one to the other and you flip the power and it's basically a switch to turn entire sections of your factory on and off. Of course you have to connect it all to one thing so this is all connected to one. And as expected everything's flowing through the whole system. 
And uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but I do have a ton of iron going through the whole system. Why isn't this one working? Oh. Didn't have the iron blueprint. Wasn't powered either. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I deleted it accidentally and I didn't put it back in. Yeah, that's what happened. So it should take it a bit to properly warm up, as in just take a bit to get a bunch of iron in the system. But uh, it is working. Iron's being distributed, working towards making the rods, which is really cool. Don't need this on anymore. Now I gotta work on the screws. Okay, let me check my numbers. Uh, what do I need for screws? Okay, so I need 600 a minute for the heavy frames, and I need an additional 540 a minute so that I can build the reinforced plates. And oh, oh, I actually mathed out what how many constructors I need. I need 29. 29 constructors. Yeah, there's, uh, that should be easy. Do, 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 do. Do do do. I'm gonna need a higher lookout tower, aren't I? <laughs> Man, I'm just expanding forever. All right, guys, we're gonna start the new uh, 20 by 20 satisfactory series. We got constructors aplenty. <laughs> so funny thing, I actually did the math. So I need 29 constructors for screws, which actually means I need. Uh, one more. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're screws right now because I don't have it active, but uh, I have several lines of 280 screws a minute. And I would love to just use the Mark III conveyor belts, however, Mark III conveyor belts are rated at 270 a minute, and I keep creating 280 screws a minute, so I need to upgrade to the tier 4 each time, and that's aggravating me. Okay, the last step is to get iron plates. And I need 420 iron ingots a minute to reach 280 iron plates a minute, and I'll need 14 constructors for that. I need 420. Divide 420 by 30 to get 14 furnaces. And if we count real quick, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, that's going to aggravate me. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 smelters. Now I just got to merge everything together. Oh, jeez, I'm getting to a point where I need, like, lookout towers on all corners of my factory just to see what I'm doing. Anyways, to summarize, we have a bunch of raw iron coming in, getting smelted, getting distributed, making iron rods on the far end, some of which are going towards making screws. And it's a little hard to tell, but in this area they're making iron plates, which basically means we have all the resources we need to make refined plates. Well, anyways, I was able to get the iron plates up on the ceiling, as well as the screws getting routed to here along the back of all the assemblers, and I also got power distributed to them if needed. Anyways, I now have rods and reinforced iron plates. I need to combine those together to get modular frames, and I need uh, 15 <laughs> assemblers for that. Oh, that's, that's gonna be fun. I wonder, can I put some down here? Yeah, it turns out there was just enough room in here for these assemblers. That's kind of interesting. Now how... How does this work out? A conveyor splitter goes in, and I can also output there. Yeah, that, that works out. And a bit of time later, I've got stuff for modular frames. Let's turn it on! Uh, look at it all go! We've got iron being smelted into several iron ingots. Iron ingots sent out through the factory to be turned into iron rods and to another section to create iron plates. Rods are then split off, half of which go towards making screws, the other half for modular frames. Iron plates and screws combine together to make refined plates. The refined plates and spare iron rods combine together to make modular frames. A very important part of the factory, allowing me to construct heavy modular frames. Uh, speaking of which, I gotta, I gotta start working on those. Jeez, uh, I'm stuck in here.
There we go. Okay, I might admit, I might have gone a little overboard with this one. It's probably the messiest conveyor belt setup that I've had in a while. Although, if we go back to the modular frame thing, as cool as this is with how organized everything is, how amazing it all looks, I don't like it, Odd oddly enough. I kind of liked the chaotic, everything goes exactly where type thing, where everything goes exactly where it needs to go. And uh, that's what this was attempting to be. <laughs> oh, I guess I gotta turn it on, except there's an actual issue. So we look at my main capacity of 2475, and I'm consuming approximately 2000. So I have about 475 left. My max connections for this whole system is 419. So if I activate this, I'll be on the edge of my power again. <laughs> uh, that should be fine. I mean, we got some backup generators going, so if anything goes over, it can just kind of work it, I guess. Basically, I am literally at my capacity again. I need to figure out ways to get more power. Uh, oh gosh, this, this is crazy. But it is making industrial beams, which I need for the whole project, which is pretty good. Uh, but as for the moment, I don't exactly have anywhere for it to go. So I'm just sending it off to the recycler. Look at it go. How many points am I getting? About uh, 20,000, that's, that's nice. But enough bragging, I gotta get steel pipes up and running and then I can send them off to a manufacturer to make the heavy frames and I gotta get to that. I think going forward, while I, while I'm like on the edge of my power and I uh, don't really have access to expanding that, I'm gonna get some batteries. Cool thing I just found out: you can actually link the batteries to other batteries, so you actually don't need to link every single one of them together. Yeah, that bumped up my battery capacity by a lot. So with this, I can store 2,200 megawatts, which, hmm. Actually, if I get a few more, I can literally run my entire factory for an entire hour. <laughs> that actually sounds hilarious now that I think about it. I'm going to run a massive tower of power from one hour of power. <laughs> so with that, I've got everything ready. I got modular frames, industrial beams, steel pipes, and screws. Now, I just need to put down the manufacturers. I might have like this weird step ladder thing for these. These machines are just so big, goodness. Alright, that's the modular frames. Now for the screws? Sure. I'll put that one on the next step up, so I'll send you all up there. And I'm gonna put a merger here that has a Mark IV conveyor belt coming from this batch of screws. Steel pipes going in. And sends over. And then last but not least, industrial beams. Well, it started up, so everything's working properly. Gotta say, pretty interesting outcome for my machining. <laughs> Gotta say, pretty messy for the moment, but I'm sure it'll look better later on. Okay, overflows have been installed. Anything that is excess will just be sent over to the recyclers. Ideally, I would have my storage system hooked up to all of this, so none of this goes to waste or whatever. But uh, honestly, this is fine. So I might have this running for a while, just so I can get a ton of these, and then I can work on other stuff. Oh, wow, that uh, today was busy. So yeah, just as a reminder of what we've been doing today, a lot of changes, a lot of changes, oh my gosh. 
Make our way over to the uh, old platform. Oh, wow. So, before, after. Tons of changes. Lots of changes. My goodness me. So many. And I'm actually kind of happy leaving my first refined plates thing. I actually kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> if you get too far away, stuff gets lower detail so it doesn't waste resources. And I guess the iron ingots are just squares. It's kind of funny. But yeah, after redoing everything, coal generators expanded. And then on the second floor, we got a bazillion screws being produced. I forgot how many exactly. It's like thousands. Also installed some lighting. I'm gonna probably do this anytime I'm getting another level. So I'll probably do it with the next level whenever I get the chance for that. And then of course, on the third level, tons of just machines for heavy frame production. And it's all complete. And just a reminder, this is all for the adaptive control units, or the ACUs. Or, <laughs> I thought this was kind of funny, we could also call them air conditioners. So, I went through all this effort just to make some air conditioners. <laughs> Quite a lot of changes this episode, that's for sure. But, uh, no more for now. I've gotta... I've gotta figure out what I've actually done with my own build. Oh, gosh. Anyways, next episode, gonna be working on getting the air conditioners automated. Gonna try and get five a minute, which is why I needed so many machines. Probably gonna expand my power again, because I'm out of power again. Yay. But thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed it at least some amount, and you all have a good night.